Chris Whitehead asks which flight controllers we will be using after H7s. And it's a very tricky question because from the hardware itself and the requirements that the software has on the hardware, I mean the flight controller uh, firmware, or what they demand when they need the processing power, outputs, inputs and so on, even current generations of the H7s are more than enough. The top of the top of the line flight controllers we have right now at least in the no, actually everywhere, uh, I know better flight are the pilot wars are the 8743 and the fact with the the truth about the 8743 is that they are much more powerful than we need uh, they are fast enough have enough ram and have enough flash to there is no need to upgrade we do not have um, a problem right now with any of the h7s um, if the software development will progress like it's progressing right now, we most probably will not be able to utilize everything that H743 offers for years because there is just no need. We do not have to run the pit loop even faster. Uh, what we have is more or less enough and uh, the H743 is idling for so long that we can no problem put new functions over there, compute the Fourier transformations whenever we want and have a lot of fun with processing the data. But we don't have to process the data. And if the H743 we will decide one day that it's not enough, then we still have H745s, which are the dual core H7s. So there is a second core that you can use to do something completely different. Ardu pilot, uh, in case of Ardu pilots, it's simpler for them to adopt to use the second core on the H745s because they are running under the GBOS, so it's just nicer to have the operating system. In case for the Betaflight and INAF, we don't have the operating system layer, it's more like uh, low level hardware, so for us, utilizing the second core would be a problem, and so on, and so on, and so on. But if the H743 will be not enough, we can always go H745. Don't let's not talk about H750 that are downgraded versions of those things. However, the real question is do we need H7s right now? And the answer is that no. H722 are F722s are not really like the what we need because for example INAV has to make some feature cuts on the F722 and Ardu Pilot does not work on the F722 at all. Uh, but for the flippity floppy is more than enough. But if not F722, then we have F745, F765, much more powerful flight controller with more RAM and more flash memory to handle everything you want. Not enough processing power as the H7s, but still enough for what we doing, what we require right now. However, however, the real question is that will you be able to buy F745s, F765 and H7s? Because with the currently running chip shortage, the biggest problem is for the manufacturers, for the designers, it to buy the STM32 microprocessors. Because it's super hard to get the stuff you want to put on your flight controller. Everybody's struggling with the sourcing of the flight controllers. If there will be no flight con there will be no microprocessors on the market, we will not have current flight controllers. So maybe we will have to adapt to something else. Uh, maybe even we will go back to F3s because uh, you cannot buy F4s. Who knows? Who knows what might happen? We just remove a lot of stuff and go back to the basics. Maybe D4s, uh, Betaflight is for example. Betaflight 4.3 has the um, uh, support for the G4s, but this is somehow not really happening. Not, not, nobody really saw any of the G4s. I think Kiss has the G4, but besides that, nobody uses that. So 
it's not really what we need, what we want. It's because the current options are, in my opinions, are enough of everything for the next few years. It's the question of will we be able to get those microcontrollers and use them if STM32 will be making them or not. And you will be able to buy them because if not, then we will look for the alternatives.